Okay, welcome to tonight's event. My cup runneth over our ladies night. Hi, everyone. So good to see so many of you. Just going to start with a word of prayer. Uh, if everyone could just bow your heads really quickly. Lord, we thank you for bringing us all together for an evening full of um, sharing and fellowship and community, God. We thank you for bringing all of the women on this on this Zoom call tonight together. We thank you for waking us up to see a brand new day full of brand new um, grace and mercy. We ask that as our First Lady Stephanie shares with us tonight what you've given to her, Lord, that we would um, gain encouragement from it, God. And we thank you for allowing us to all just gather together, especially after not seeing each other for such a long time. We thank you for this time that you have given us. We ask that you touch the homes of every single woman on here, all those who will be joining us. Um, we thank you for how you're working in and through each and every single one of our lives. And we thank you for this and all of these things in Jesus name. Amen. Well, I would just like to welcome all of you um, to this event tonight on behalf of our pastor, Pastor Rod. And um, First Lady Stephanie, we're so excited to have this event and to see everybody. It's so good to see so many familiar faces. It feels like forever, right? So um, we're just going to take this time tonight to just fellowship and hang out together for an hour. I hope all of you have your mugs as we have announced. Everybody have your mugs, I hope. Mine has coffee in it because daylight savings time has been driving me nuts. Anybody else? Daylight savings, like the minute it gets dark, I'm tired. So I have coffee. So I hope you guys have a warm drink or whatever it is that you choose to drink. Um, if we have any first time visitors, you know, to any BGT events, or if you're not a regular BGT visitor, put it in the chat. We'd love to connect with you. You can put your name and your email address. Um, we definitely would like to reach out to you. So feel free to put any information in the chat. Also, before we begin, while I'm talking about um, sharing and community, we do have our BGT Connect form that we have been announcing for quite a while now. So please um, go to tinyurl.com slash BGT Connect, all one word. It's just a, a short form to fill out. So we have all of the information of all of our members and supporters so that we can continue to stay connected. So again, that's tinyurl.com slash BGT connect. So if you could just fill out that form whenever you get a chance, that'd be really, really helpful. Like I said, we've been announcing it the last couple of weeks. Um, if you have been tuned in on Sundays, so um, be sure to, to um, fill that out for us, okay? Because again, we want to stay connected, especially in these crazy, crazy times we're dealing with. Um, so right now we are going to have a solo, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the evening, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Give him the glory and the honor and the praise that he deserves, for you are awesome, you are awesome, God. The Lord is my shepherd, he goes before me. Defender behind me, I won't fear. I'm filled with anointing, my cup's overflowing. can harm me I won't fear Hallelujah I am 
mountains and valleys Your joy is refreshing Your story Mercy and goodness gives me assurance that I'll see His glory face to He's my comfort, always holds me close. Hallelujah, I am not alone. We give it all to you, God. Your spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me, my victory, my victory. Say your spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me, my victory. My victory, your spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me, my victory, my victory, or oh, your spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me, my victory. My victory, see my victory, my victory, my victory, my victory. We give it all to you, God. We magnify your name. Oh God, oh my victory, my victory, it's my victory, oh my victory. Say it again, let's say it again. Say hallelujah, hallelujah, I am not alone. I know I'm not alone, God. I know I'm not alone. He's my comfort, he One more time, say Hallelujah, I am not alone Thank you, Jesus You never left me on my own, Lord Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord Can we just raise our hands and say a hallelujah?
Can you just raise your hands and thank him? Hallelujah, Lord, that you are with us, that we are not alone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you so much, uh, Simi Sola, for ministering to us tonight. Um, we are blessed, and God bless you. Thank you so much. Ladies, good evening. I'm so excited for us to be together tonight. Uh, it's been so long, and we have missed one another's company. Um, I just want to give a special shout out. Um, I just want to say that I'm really really thankful um, for the women in leadership and the executive team of our women's ministry um, that has been so passionate about bringing us together over the years. And today I'm so grateful for this new chapter that we can continue in that legacy. So just give them a, a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, amen. So for those of you who may not know me, my name is Stephanie Caesar. Um, my husband, Roderick Caesar III, is the lead pastor at Bethel Gospel Tabernacle. Um, and I just wanna welcome you and thank you for being here tonight. Tonight is an opportunity for us ladies to connect. So we set aside this time for us to be open and available to one another so that we can share and grow together. So please limit distractions, take this time out for you Grab your mug, show, show off your mug. There you go, beautiful mugs. Check them out, ladies. And get comfortable because tonight I'd like to talk to you about pray, preparing for overflow. So God, we just thank you so much for this time and this opportunity for us to be together. I thank you for the Bethel women. I thank you that you are going to pour out your strength and power over us. I thank you that you're going to speak to our hearts and challenge us through your word. We thank you in advance for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. So when we find time to connect with friends, family, and sisters over the phone, or getting together, it's about being in a relationship. And since we haven't had the opportunity to fellowship together as women, how we would regularly hug and catch up between services, we have had to adjust and shift how we communicate and connect with one another. So who have you been connecting with lately? Maybe you're spending quality time with your family at home, or maybe there's been tension and bickering. Maybe you've been spending time alone studying your word and working on bettering yourself, or maybe you've been paralyzed by thoughts and feelings struggling day by day. When it feels like isolation has robbed you of cultivating healthy relationships, we can feel empty and depleted from this hard season. 2020 has been a rough year for so many. Many of us have dealt with trauma and burnout from being home, managing work, school, businesses, to taking care of our families without a break and facing challenges with our personal health and also seeing our loved ones suffer grief and loss alone. We wanna know that we have someone who's there with us and you know it may continue to be a fight to connect and find people who we can genuinely grow with in this season, but I want to remind you that God wants us to be in relationship with him. He wants to connect with you on a deeper level. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 states, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. We have access to a good father who looks after us and cares for our needs, who gives us life and life more abundantly. So how are you stewarding the life that he's given you? John 10.10 10 states, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have a life and have it abundantly. Have you ever wondered what a life of abundance feels like? Now let's have a look at Psalm 23. This text is a beautiful passage that shows us how God is taking care of us through the names of God. He is Jehovah Rohi. In verse one, he is the Lord, my shepherd. Jehovah Jireh, I shall not want, the Lord will provide. Jehovah Shalom, verse two, he leads me beside still waters. The Lord is peace. Jehovah Rapha, verse three, he restores my soul. The Lord healer. 
Jehovah Sid Canoe, he leads me in paths of righteousness, the Lord our righteousness. And Jehovah Nisi, verse five, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies, the Lord my banner, my victory. We've seen how he meets our needs both physically and spiritually and brings stability. God gives freely to us, covers, protects, and cares for us. Walking with us every single step of the way, even in the darkest valleys, even when knowing our darkest and deepest secrets and struggles. You will not lack anything that you need because God, our shepherd, will provide. He will carry and be all that you need him to be. Psalms 23, 5 states, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. God is a gracious host. He gives us perfect peace when we're facing challenges. He gives us fresh anointing, covering our heads with oil every day as we go to the Father and seek him. And so we must abide in him. First John 2.27 states, but as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as that anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, remain in him. And John 15, four states, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. And we are not just any old cup. He wants to fill us up with his best to overflow. We're given more than enough. And that is exciting. Just enough isn't enough. God provides more than we need. He is the God of overflow. There is an overflow of joy, love, and peace, and so much more that he wants to give you. So let's have a look at the word overflow. In the Hebrew, the word for overflow means abundance, fullness, flood. In the Greek, the word for overflow means outpouring, spillover. The dictionary defines overflow as the excess or surplus not able to be accommodated by an available space. How many of you ladies like to put on events? You can delegate, plan, and manage the whole thing. So imagine with me for a minute that you are a physical church. You are the venue. And of course, as the bride of Christ, you are the church. And uh, you found out that God is in town and he's coming to your location, your church. That's right, God is coming to your location. So, okay, when God shows up, uh, you're going to make sure the church is clean, uh, every nook and cranny, make sure it's decorated, every banner with God's name on it, Jehovah Shema, the Lord is present and invite everybody you know, because you want this to be the biggest and best event ever. But when he shows up, you realize God takes up all the space and you need to access the overflow room because God cannot be contained within the main sanctuary. He shows up with so much love, so much joy, so much peace that when you're filled to max capacity, God can fill you to overflowing. But are we prepared for the overflow? When he gives you the abundance, are you ready for it? God wants to be in relationship with you and wants to give you more and more abundantly but we have to empty ourselves of whatever is preventing the Holy Spirit's work in us so that we may access the outpouring. If our cups are full with flesh and feelings and self-will, how can we have room for the spirit, truth, and God's purpose and will for our life? Ephesians 3.20 states, now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. So when we fill ourselves up with the living God, we can accomplish what he enables us to do. There is power, healing, and freedom. So 
what is hindering you from allowing the Holy Spirit to work in your life? When the Holy Spirit highlights areas we need to give him access and control over, such as our thoughts, flesh, anxiety, doubt, disbelief, laziness, pride, fear, low self-esteem, lust, rage, self-pity? Do we open up our hands and give him the dominion over it? Not only are we carrying these weights with us day in and day out and never fully living out a blessed and full life, but also we're too busy getting in the way of obtaining our own freedom. There is more, just enough isn't enough. Declare by faith with me that my cup runs over. My cup runs over. God wants to give you an abundance, but you have to empty out the gunk in the cup. It's not easy to let go. We have so much to do, so many people who depend on us, but who are we leaning into? Who are we depending on? Thank God for his grace and mercy. Hebrews 4.16 states, let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Do you remember what he saved you from? And what he's brought you out of? Can you trust in his word that he has not left you and that he has more, more life, more in store for you? Genesis 41, 48 reads, Joseph collected all the food and produced, all the food produced in those seven years of abundance in Egypt and stored it in the city. In each city, he put the food grown in the fields surrounding it. So where are you storing the abundance? We must be purposeful and if we ask, he will give us an action plan. Just like Joseph, he's given us the tools and direction and capacity to help us prepare for the abundance. But if we don't get ready, we won't have anything stored up. If your cup is half full, will it satisfy your soul for the rest of the day? Will you be able to bless others and let his light shine in and through you? We are his vessels and cannot afford to just get by day to day. Second Timothy 2.21 says, therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel, a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy, useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. When we ask, we receive. He's preparing you for an overflow. So get ready. The song Simi Sola sang for us tonight, Psalm 23, I am not alone, says, your spirit lives in me, so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives in me, my victory, my victory. God wants to give us abounding peace, unconditional love, natural and supernatural blessings, and victory over sin greater than we can ever imagine. He wants to empower us with the Holy Spirit. Romans 5.13 states, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Ladies, our victory is connected to the overflow of the Holy Spirit's work in our life. When we are in relationship with Christ, he gives us the strength and power to overcome the sin that so easily entangles us. Our relationship with Christ affects us holistically. Our spiritual and physical well-being is cared for. We are no longer on empty. We take daily actions to care for our physical health. What more can we do for the building of the kingdom through a spirit-filled life? Here are just a few ways to help us to create room for the overflow and to get ready for what God's going to do. Number one, and this is going to be in the chat later, so you don't have to write crazy. By being in community and holding ourselves accountable, we can encourage, uplift, and pray for one another. Proverbs 27, 17 states, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Number two, dealing with sin daily and aggressively. 
Romans 6, 2 states, by no means, by no means, how can we who died to sin still live in it? Number three, a commitment to growth. 1 Corinthians 3, 7. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. Number four, being a good steward practicing generous living so that you may pass on abundance to others. Proverbs eleven twenty four to 25 states, one gives freely yet grows all the richer. Another withholds what he should give and only suffers want. Whoever brings blessing will be enriched and one who waters will himself be watered. So ladies, when your cup runs over, you are filled with Christ and are able to live a full life and bless others as a result. Tonight, I want you to, to, to declare in faith with me right now. My cup overflows. I am prepared for the overflow. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, Lord, we declare in faith. My cup overflows. I am prepared for the overflow. Heavenly Father, we thank you, oh God, for the power of your Holy Spirit working in our lives right now. Lord, it's been a rough year. It's been a tough year. We've suffered a loss. We've suffered grief. We're getting hit right and left, but you are still with us. We are not alone. So God, I thank you for every woman who's here tonight, every weight that they've carried in tonight. Lord, I just pray that you would minister to them, speak to their hearts right now. Mm. Holy Spirit, move in their lives. Yes, God. I pray that your cup will overflow. Mm. Thank you, God, for all that you're doing right now, tonight in this room. Thank you that we've taken this time out. So God, we pray right now that you'll continue to help us walk in victory, that you would have victory in the areas that nobody knows about, that we will give that to you and we'll give you that access. In Jesus' most precious name, amen and amen. Hallelujah, amen, amen, amen. So ladies, thank you so much for being here. Now is the time that we are going to transition into our breakout rooms. So let's get ready to dialogue. I want you to share and connect with the ladies in your group. Uh, you'll be led by a, a wonderful facilitator. We have special questions just for your group to discuss. And we have 25 minutes. So grab your mug, get cozy. I want you guys to discuss these questions and connect with each other. So we're going to come back afterwards and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you, ladies. The name of this poem is Pause, and it's in Angel's Heart Guided by Light in the chapter entitled Transformation. My life has been put on pause in a sense, to get closer to God, just get closer to Him. My days are now longer than my nights, and I'm happy at home without a fuss or a fight. Now I spend quality time with Him at home. It's truly a blessing having Him with me. I'm not alone. I grow in him daily, God builds me up, providing all my needs and strengthening me with his love. I'm chasing after the heart of God for my purpose for his kingdom, trusting in his Holy Spirit for discernment and wisdom. My faith is in Jesus and continues to increase while I go through the trial, my God gives me peace. And in these trials, there's joy in my heart while the master's at work perfecting what he started. So trust me, it's good to follow his laws, and I'm happy he's keeping me while my life is on pause. So thank you. Um, I hope you guys um, feel refreshed. I'm so glad that we had the breakout sessions and it was an opportunity for you to talk and discuss and go through some of the questions together. Um, I hope this time was encouraging for you. Um, we're looking forward to continuing to grow and connect together. Um, this is a safe space and you are with sisters in Christ. And so it's important that you feel that things that you share, uh, the intimacy or the intimate um, pieces of your uh, struggles and portions of your life 
are being prayed for in this community uh, and it's being brought to the Lord's attention. So I want you to always feel that, you know, we're able to grow together in unity. Um, so in this time, you just uh, answered some questions. You talked about um, anything that would be blocking you from receiving God's abundance in this season. Uh, examples of self-care, um, again, during this very difficult season. Um, working on a commitment to growth and what that looks like, um, talking through action plans to obtain victory over sin, um, and sharing with one another how we've been able to rise up and overcome difficulty during this hard year. So I just, I just want to encourage you and thank you for being able to be um, just vulnerable and remember that you are not alone that he is with you and that in community, we can continue to hold ourselves accountable and we can grow together. That is um, the role of the church and that's important that we see ourselves as the church. So thank you so much, ladies. Um, I just want you to know that I'm so excited to have shared with you and I hope that you continue to be blessed and have a wonderful night as the Lord outpours on you and in as it spills into your families and into your relationships and into your lives. So at this time, we'll have Pastor Beth. Ladies, we're so grateful for the opportunity that our Lady Stephanie presented to us tonight. Time is far spent. I'm not going to hold you much longer. But if you're here tonight, just bow your heads with me for a moment. If you're here tonight and you do not know the Lord, you're not saved. You do not have this relationship with him. Your cup is not overflowing because you're not walking with him. So what we want you to do is write your name in the chat right now. Just stop where you are. Write your name and a phone number and say, please pray for me. I need to know Jesus in a personal way so that I can have this personal walk with him. That Psalm 23 will become alive in my life. So we're thanking you, Father. We ask you, Lord, just to prick the hearts of any woman who's here to night who doesn't have a personal relationship with you that they will commit their ways and we as a community will follow through in Jesus name we pray and now ladies those of you who were listening tonight to the great teaching of our, our sister Stephanie the this is videotape or I should say this is being taped or recorded so you can get to listen to it again but I'm challenging you tonight that do not let this be an empty night do not leave here saying oh, i wasted an hour what have you accomplished how are you going to allow god to overflow in your life so that you can become a community who are you going to connect with did you connect with any of the ladies in your group you should have because we need to follow through we're not going to leave here the same way so i'm praying dear god in the name of jesus that we will continue to be a community go after a sister if you haven't seen her call her up ask her how she's doing um we want to uplift we want to encourage and we want to pray for one another as we read in proverbs 27 and then we're going to deal with our own personal issues aggressively aggressively and then we're going to be committed to growing and we're going to be a good steward by practicing generous living so that we may pass on abundance to other ladies your cups overflowing so right now lift your hand and say my cups overflowing my cups overflowing with grace and with love and with peace and with mercy and with love and kindness and with forgiveness hallelujah to pass it on to somebody else so thank you lord for let, allowing these ladies their cups to overflow because of what you poured in so that they can be filled up to such a capacity that it will overflow and bless others and we thank you for these ladies here tonight and we give you the glory in jesus name ladies go with the lord and at this time our sister alicia will come before you right now hi everyone i'm full i hope you all are too Stephanie, thank you so much. That was amazing. Our breakout groups were so fun as well. So I'm definitely full. It was a fun hour. Um, I just have a couple of closing announcements. And then um, our Reverend Renee will close us out. 
Don't forget to follow us on social media if you are not already. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube. Facebook and YouTube is where our two services at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. are shown on Sundays, as well as our Thursday night transformation Bible study. So make sure you are following us on all social media. It's also where we update current events and um, anything we might have going on. So make sure you're following us on social media and you're attending services with us um, regularly. Also, um, you can go to our website, bgtfi.us, for any um, information that you may need. If you're not sure about what days, what meets um, virtually, all of that information is there as well. Um, I also mentioned our BGT Connect form at the beginning of this, but if you have, if you weren't on yet, please fill out our BGT Connect form. It's um, tinyurl.com slash BGT Connect. We're really trying to build community and make sure that we're all staying in touch. So please fill out the form on that. So we have all of your information and we can reach out to you with any information that we may have, any events we have coming up, et cetera. Also, um, on December 4th at 8 p.m., Pastor Bevan ACT Studios is putting on a holiday special. So please follow them on Facebook and YouTube for any further information um, regarding that as well. And then our um, Minister Sherry Addy Olson and her Reloom Foundation has an event on Saturday, um, November 21st at noon. You can reach out to her for any more for further details regarding that. Um, so like I said, I hope you all were full. I certainly am. I had such a good time. The hour went by so quickly. So we definitely have to do this again. I'm really excited for the next event and all the further events that we have going on. So at this time, um, Reverend Renee will close us out and um, we will be on our way. Amen. Let us pray, ladies. Father, we are so grateful and so thankful for community and for this evening of connecting with you and with our sisters in Christ. Father, as we go from this event, may we remember the importance of community and more importantly, the price that you paid to set us free from sin. May we be committed to growth as we spend time with you and make ourselves accountable to one another. Finally, Father, we ask that you help us to be good stewards over all that you have entrusted to us our families, our finances, our talents, our time. For we know that as we give generously to others and to your kingdom, you will fill our cups. Father, we pray for abundant life because we know that just enough is not, is, is not enough. Satisfy our souls, oh God, we want more of you. We pray for and we thank you for overflow, overflow of yourself, overflow of your Holy Spirit. God, we pray for abundance in you. Oh God, because there's no lack. And all these things, we thank you. We praise you. And we pray it in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. Everyone have a good night and be blessed.